how to enable developer mode on Chromebook in 2025. Now, most of you want to get developer mode on your Chromebook because you're facing so many technical issues, such as not being able to install APK files on your Chromebook. As you can see here, it says that the file is not supported and most of you will not be able to install this natively. Now, there are two important things I need you guys to pay attention to. Now, there's so many gurus out there that claim they're teaching you how to get developer mode on your Chromebook the easy and the safe way. But the truth of the matter is that there is no easy or safe method to get in developer mode on your Chromebook. There's only one method and that method is what I'm going to be teaching you guys in this video video. Now the truth of the matter is that when you get developer mode the right way you're going to lose all your data and so what I'm going to recommend you do is that you go to my files and then you go ahead and copy everything in my files onto maybe let's say a USB drive if you have the Linux files here as well you can just go ahead and do that for that copy all your files put it on a pen drive and make sure that you've backed everything up safely. Now what I love about Chromebooks is that they go ahead and back up everything that is Play Store based and so you're going to have your games your apps everything that you previously installed on your Chromebook that is one lovely thing I love about Chromebooks. Let's get into the safest and the easiest and the only method of getting developer mode on your Chromebook. The next step is that you're going to go ahead and click on your escape bar. You're going to also click on your refresh bar and you're going to click on your power button at the same exact time. Now for some of you, you might have the power button to the left hand side of your Chromebooks and then for some of you, you might also have it to the right hand side of your Chromebook. It doesn't really matter where the power button is. Just go ahead and click on your escape bar together and then you're going to go ahead and click on the power button all at once until the Chromebook goes off. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on the escape and the refresh bar at the same time and then I'm just going to add the power bar to it to make sure that everything works smoothly. Now once you've done that, the Chromebook is going to go off immediately and then it's going to come back on again. Great, now you're going to land on this screen and this is perfectly okay, don't panic just yet. <laughs> go ahead and click on your keyboard, click Ctrl D and then wait for the next screen to pop up and then you're just going to hit enter at the screen once again. Now, once you've done that, the Chromebook will shut off once again and it will come back up again. Great. Now, once on the screen, you want to go ahead and hit CTRD on your keyboard. You're going to see here, if you forget to hit CTRD, it's going to go automatically and do everything automatically for you. But we are going to hit CTRD or Ctrl D and then we're going to wait for the screen to reload again. Great. Now, if you launch on this page, that says starting in 30 seconds and then mine is in German. I don't know why mine is in German. I do not understand why it is. Maybe it was a German bot Chromebook, but I just got this recently. And so don't worry, whatever language it is in you're in the right place if you see this kind of screen great now i should launch you on a screen that looks just like this now this means that it is running mine is written in german i don't know why it's written this way but it is running for me as well and is getting into developer mode if you're in this screen you're at the right place whatever language it is it doesn't really matter now you could also see this is countdown in the top left corner that is counting down to show how much time it's going to take for the developer mode to finish and so just wait for that to finish instantly. Great. Now once this is done, it should bring you back to this page once again. Now here is a key tip you need to realize. If you don't click anything, you just had the beeping sound, it's going to go naturally into Chrome OS. However, what you never want to do on the screen is to hit the space bar. It's going to delete every single thing you have. And so what you want to do when you get to the screen each and every time is either you're going to hit Control D to get into your Chromebook or you're just going to wait for it to get into Chrome OS itself. That is the safest and the best way you could go about this. But never hit the space bar else it's going to activate verification again and you'd have to put it into developer mode again. And the risk about this whole thing is that you are actually going to lose every data on your Chromebook once it resets itself once again. And so you can see I'm back on the Chromebook natural screen and I'm going to change the language real quick and I'll see you guys on the other side of my screen. Yes, and another crucial thing I forgot about is that when it comes to enterprise enrollment, I've never actually tried doing it. I don't think it's safe because most Chromebooks might be locked to a particular school. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, kindly find out from your school before you actually proceed if you are enterprise enrolled or if your Chromebook is connected to your school. This is just a plug. The safest place I've gotten my APKs for years and years is from APK Pure. They're so reliable and they probably wouldn't get you a virus. That is what I recommend. This is not sponsored by any chance or any way, but I just love using APK Pure because it's very simple. Now you can go ahead and install any APK on the Chromebook and it should work automatically. Now that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click on the link to this other video on how to get Minecraft or Roblox or Fortnite or other stuff on your Chromebook. More videos coming out soon. Don't forget to smash the likes subscribe and bell button and come to my discord down in the description. Peace out.